Hello, and welcome to the Lightroom Viewfinder. I'm Sean Duggan, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at a couple of really useful features in Lightroom, the ability to create snapshots and virtual copies. Both snapshots and virtual copies can help make your develop workflow more efficient, more flexible, and most importantly, open the door to more creativity in terms of how you process your images. Before we get to snapshots and virtual copies, let's review the shortcuts for viewing the before and after versions of your file in the develop module. This will come in handy a bit later with a really cool trick you can do with snapshots. The icon button for displaying the before and after views is down here, under the main preview in the develop module. Clicking the button will cycle through the different displays of these two views. You can also click the small triangle to see a menu of these choices. Tapping the letter Y on the keyboard is the basic toggle to switch back and forth between the current state of the image and the before and after view. The before version is on the left and the current version is on the right. Option Y, or Alt Y on Windows, will switch to an upper and lower arrangement of the before and after view. Shift Y will display a split image view. If you leave it set to this view, this will become the default before and after view the next time you tap the Y key. Once you set up the split image view, pressing Option Y or Alt Y on Windows will switch to an upper and lower split image version. To return to the standard view, just press Y and then Shift Y again until you see the side by side views. OK, on to snapshots. A snapshot is just that, a picture of what your image looks like at a specific point in the develop process. You can find the snapshots pane on the left hand panel in the develop module. To create a new snapshot, just click the plus symbol, or you can use the keyboard shortcut of Command N on Mac or Control N on Windows. The default snapshot names are references to the time and date that the snapshot is created, but I find that descriptive names are more useful. A snapshot is not a copy of the file, it's simply information in the database entry for that image that records a different develop recipe for the photo. Often when you're working with an image, it may suggest different paths or visual interpretations to you. Snapshots are ideal for creating a record of those different creative paths as you work on your photograph and comparing them to help you decide which path is the one that works best for how you want to present the image. For instance, in this shot of Mono Lake on the eastern side of the Sierras, I've already made snapshots of the original imported version of the image and a good color version. Now I want to add a bit of color tint to warm it up and create a slight sepia flavor. So I'm going to scroll down to the split toning tab where I've already entered in a little bit of a color tint. I'm just going to turn the saturation up for that and warm it up a little bit. Now I'll make a snapshot of that. Just call that warm tone. And now I have three snapshots. Next, I'm going to make a black and white version. So I'll come up here to the black and white section and just adjust the sliders. I'm going to lower down the blue to make the sky nice and dark. And I'm also going to come back and turn off the saturation for the split toning so I just have a straight black and white version. That looks pretty good. I'll come up to the snapshots and make another snapshot and we'll just call this BW for black and white. So now I have four snapshots. I have the original imported version. I have the one representing the good adjusted color version, the warm tone, and my black and white version. This makes it really easy for me to explore different creative directions and quickly reference those different versions that I've already created. Now if you make an adjustment to uh, an image that you've already created a snapshot of, so for instance I'm going to just tweak the contrast of this black and white one a little bit more kind of make it a little bit more exaggerated. Well, maybe not that much more. There we go, something like that. Uh, if you make an adjustment to an image and you've already created the snapshot of it, you can easily update that by just coming over and right mouse clicking on the name of the snapshot and choosing Update with Current Settings. The one limitation of snapshots in terms of comparing different versions of the image is that under the default setup, you can only see one snapshot at a time. But here's a really cool trick that lets you modify the before and after views so you can compare two snapshots side by side. What I'm going to do is go to my good color version here and I'm just going to right mouse click on the name of that snapshot and I'm going to choose copy snapshot settings to before. Now this is going to be the before state when I enter the before and after view. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the warm tone snapshot 
and I want to compare this warmer version with the good color version. So I'll just tap Y and I can see those two side by side. If I press the tab key I can hide the side panels and see a much larger version. So that is just a really uh, useful way to see two different snapshots side by side by copying the snapshot settings to the before state. Now you can also use the same technique to set a specific history state as the source for the before view. To return the before source to the original unedited version, open the history panel and scroll down until you can find the original import view and then right mouse click on that and copy history step settings to before and now when you tap the Y key you will see the original unedited version as the before version. Now that little trick is really good for comparing two snapshots of an image but what if you needed to compare more than two versions of an image and you want to see them all at the same time? Well that's where the magic of virtual copies comes in. A virtual copy is a version of the file that is virtual meaning it exists only as a part of the Lightroom database entry for a given image. It's not an actual copy that takes up space on your hard drive. But since a virtual copy results in a new thumbnail of that version of the image, it can be used to compare more than one version using the survey view. In the images here, the active thumbnail is the original raw file, and the other five are all virtual copies. To create a virtual copy, right-click on an image thumbnail and choose Create Virtual Copy. You can also access that same command from the photo menu in both the library or the develop modules. If you're a keyboard shortcut aficionado, you'll find it much quicker to create a virtual copy by pressing command apostrophe or control apostrophe on Windows. A virtual copy is identified by a small turned up page corner in the lower left corner of the image thumbnail. Once you've created a virtual copy, you can use it to explore different creative directions in the develop module. To compare two virtual copies side by side, go to the library module, select the two images, and then use the compare view or just press C on the keyboard. Remember that you can always use the tab key to hide the side panels and give you a larger preview of each image. To compare three or more images, select those files and then use survey view, which you can also access via its keyboard shortcut of N. In survey view, you can click the X in the lower right corner of an image to remove that photo from the view, giving you a handy way to refine your choices. Snapshots and virtual copies are a great way to easily explore different creative directions when processing your images and still have the freedom to quickly return to a specific processing treatment. Give them a try!